Imagine that you create a lot of charts in Excel and that you have some personal custom settings that you'd like to apply over and over again. Things like having the title in a specific font and in a specific location. You always use a certain colour for the bars and another colour for the background. And you like to have data labels, no grid lines, that sort of thing. Wouldn't it be great if you could have a template with all those settings already there? And that's what this video covers. How to create and apply and manage chart templates in Excel. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the practice files from the link in the description below. Although I'm using Excel on the Mac, chart templates work the same way in Excel on Windows. So here's a chart showing the number of employees who work in each location for a fictitious company. This is the default chart. I selected insert and chose a two dimensional column chart. And that's it. Apart from editing the title text, I've made no other changes. On sheet two, I've got the same chart, but with lots of changes. Because this video is about chart templates, not how to make a chart look more professional, I've made the changes off camera. The title is in a different location. It's bold and italic. It's got a different font and size. The background colors like gold. The grid lines have been removed. The Y axis has been removed. The X axis labels are bold and in a larger font. The columns are green. I've added data labels above each column and I've reduced the gap between each column. I now want to save all those settings so I can apply them to other charts. So this is how I do it. I select the chart. I then right click on the edge of the chart. And from the shortcut menu, I select save as template. I give the template a name. I'm going to call it demo one. Excel adds a CRTX extension, and it also needs to be saved into a specific folder. The path of that folder is different depending on whether you're on Mac or Windows. So the folder is called Chart Templates. On the Mac, it's in a specific location. As I say, on Windows, it's in a different location. And then click Save. And that's it. It's that simple to create a chart template. But how do you attach it to a chart? Well, if I go to Sheet 3, on sheet three, I have a different chart. This one shows how many calls each sales rep made last week. The grid lines are there. The Y axis is there. There's no data labels. The fonts and colors are the default ones. And I want this chart to look like the other one. So all I need to do is assign the template to the chart. Select the chart by clicking on the edge of it. Go to the chart design tab on the ribbon. Click on change chart type and click on templates. And what we see here is a list of all the templates on my system. So I'll choose demo one. And that's it. It's now applied all the settings from that template to this chart. But what if I wanted to use that template on a chart in a different file? The good news is that chart templates are not file specific. So here I'm using the file called Excel Chart Template 2. I'll click on the chart to select it, go to Chart Design, click Change Chart Type, click Templates, and there is my template. So I'll select it. And now it's applied all of those settings from the template to this chart. Now, what if I needed to amend the template? I'd make whatever changes I need to make. So I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to change the color of the columns just by using the fill color button. So let's make it uh, this color here, orange. I'm also going to delete the data labels. So I'll just click on one of those data labels and press the delete key. And then I'll right click on the edge of the chart, choose save as template. Click on demo one, which you can see here, and click save and confirm I want to replace the existing demo one file. 
I've closed that file and I've reopened the first file and I've gone to sheet three. And what I want to do is I want to apply the updated template to this chart. So I'll select the chart, click on chart design, change chart type, templates, demo one. And you can see it's now applied all of the settings of the updated template to that chart. By the way, you're not limited to just one chart template. You can have as many as you like. Now, a question that's often asked is, can you create a new chart from a template? Well, on Windows, you can create a new chart from a template. On the Mac, this feature isn't available. You'll need to create a default chart and then apply a template to it, which is what I did in the first demo. But on Windows, you can select the data, click Insert, choose the type of chart, bar, column, pie, etc. And then at the bottom of the panel, there's a more option. You click that, select templates, select the desired template and click OK. But what if I wanted to delete a chart template or what if I wanted to give the template to somebody else? To do this, open any Excel file that contains a chart. It doesn't have to be a chart that had the template attached to it. Any file will do. Select the chart, go up to the chart design tab, Click on change chart type, click on manage templates. On the Mac, this takes you to a finder window and takes you to the template folder. On Windows, clicking change chart type opens this dialog box and then clicking templates and manage templates will open a file explorer window and take you to the templates folder. And from here, you can delete the file or copy it or move it or drag it to an email or whatever you need to do. If you do delete the template, it will have no effect on any charts that have the template applied. In other words, once applied, there is no link between the chart and the template. Well, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.